Exiled Zimbabwean politician Patrick Zwell, the late former President Robert Mugabe's nephew, has spoken out about the government's seizure of his state-of-the-art farm, the Andra Farm, covering 827 hectares in Mashona Land, West Province, was allocated to Zwell. And uh, he says that only the judiciary or President Emerson Nangagwa has the powers to revoke the land. Uh, Patrick Zwell joins us now to, to explore this matter further. So the latest news, and I know we had a conversation about it because um, your brother's farm was also confiscated recently. Yes, that's correct. Mm. Um, I think uh, it, it's, it's a bit unfortunate uh, because uh, since uh, the farm was allocated to my wife and I in 2002, We've done a lot of uh, development around the farm, not just uh, from a technical point of view, but in terms of innovation. We have developed a special breed of cattle which took into consideration the special requirements of emerging farmers in Zimbabwe. Mm. Uh, we were so good at developing that breed that we've won three national prizes. Um, in, from, a, from the tobacco production per perspective, we're one of the first uh, producers to get involved in uh, hydroponic tobacco seedling production to a point that the Tobacco Research Board would regularly uh, consult with us in terms of the innovations that we're doing on the farm. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bit so, unfortunate. So you say it's unfortunate, but uh, it almost sounds as if you're implying that it's, in, it's vindictive because it's a, from what you're saying, it's a, a farm that's operating well and, and doing well for the livelihoods of Zimbabweans. I, 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 it is vindictive. I think that I, I, there's no way around it. Uh, the Mnangagwa regime has not been uh, uh, shy about the fact that they consider me as an enemy of the state. But uh, considering the fact that uh, all in all there is uh, irrigation capacity on the farm of uh, about 237 hectares, uh, and given the, the, the challenges of climate change and the droughts that uh, we have in Zimbabwe and the food insecurity, uh, I think it doesn't make any sense for the, for, for, for the minister So what would be behind it? Is it p politically motivated? And it's a very important question to ask because uh, just on the front that you say both your farm and your brothers have been confiscated, do you believe that it's uh, President Robert... Uh, President uh, Emerson Nangagwa, who's behind this? Uh... It, most, most definitely, that's what I believe. I, and, I, and I think it's not just being vindictive against myself and several of my former colleagues, but it's also meant to, to stifle dissent, especially within Zimbabwe, where you've got over 300,000 families that are the beneficiary of, uh, of land, and especially within the senior ranks of the ruling ZANU-PF. A lot of uh, those senior officials uh, derive their livelihood from agriculture. Now, the message is very, very clear to all of them, is that they must basically toe the line, otherwise uh, their livelihoods will be, mm. will, will be impaired. I'm going to play devil's advocate here and say your detractors, that of um, your uncle's uh, former president, that you would have been allocated those farms as people who were... Uh, um, politically um, connected, that part of the reason the Zimbabwean state is in the condition that it's in is because of that exercise. What's your response to that? Well, the, 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 the evidence is to the contrary. I am a, I am a very good farmer. Uh, not only am I a very good farmer, but I'm also an innovative farmer. Mm -hmm. Not only am I innovative, but I'm also making sure that the innovations that I'm involved in uh, including uh, climate smart agriculture, conservation agriculture, and making sure that those are documented from a scientific point of view. This is why one of the this is one of the reasons why I felt that I should uh, I, sh I should make sure that the innovations that I've been involved in get scientific testing and scientific rigor. That's why I've been mm. back to the place. And, and I, I hear that I'm saying that notwithstanding, people would say, "But did you not but get the, uh, the farm because you were politically connected, and therefore the it three, would the ricochet the, in this manner that the, President the, Emerson Nangagwa would want to take the farm away from you?" The 300,000 uh, Zimbabwean families that were beneficiaries of the land reform program. Uh, uh, even, yes, granted, I, I was a member of ZANU-PF, I was expelled from ZANU-PF, but then being a member of ZANU-PF does not preclude me from being a farmer. I have been a farmer, mm -hmm. and I'm a, I'm a good farmer at it, 
And uh, not only am I a good farmer, but I'm also particularly innovative. However, that being the case, I, I, I believe that the space for, for agriculture within the African environment is a lot bigger than the, uh, than the Zimbabwean space. And uh, if President Bunangagwa feels that uh, he does not want me to farm in, uh, in Zimbabwe, then I cannot farm anywhere else. But I do have knowledge. I do have expertise, and it is the expertise that I believe I can contribute, not just to countries like South Africa, but to the whole African continent. Mm. This is why I'm doing research on digital agriculture within the ag African uh, context. So you, you mentioned earlier on some of um, the successes that you've enjoyed on your farm. Talk to us about the seedlings. Do you believe that this could lead to... For food insecurity as a result of the farm being taken away. Yes, it, it will most definitely lead to food insecurity. It's not. Uh, this is a message that goes out to all other farmers, uh, considering the level of investment that uh, we'd put into the farm, and considering the fact that I was also recognised both in South Africa and in Zimbabwe as a fairly competent farmer, a farmer that had uh, invested. Some other farmers may then think twice about investing uh, in agriculture in Zimbabwe. So it is, uh, it, is, it, it is a bit unfortunate. Actually, it is very unfortunate because the ripple effects of this are quite are quite. Uh, so what cereal seeds were you planting and who were you um, at least distributing at Trizen? Were the communities around you who benefited? Are there people that you sold to on the market that would have uh, benefited? Yes, I was, I was involved. The farm was an integrated uh, cropping and livestock farm. Uh, we were producing about 100,000 kilograms of tobacco, which was sold through the tobacco auction floors. Uh, we were doing about 150 hectares of uh, commercial base on an annual basis. And because uh, the farm is located in, uh, in granite sands, uh, the yields were not really top of the range, but uh, we, were, we, were, we were happy to be getting about five tons per hectare. So that's 450 tons of grain that we were producing in a, in a year. And from a livestock point of view, the, the, uh, the production model which was bringing onto the market between 10 to 12 uh, uh, high quality winner stock, which would then be used as a seed stock for farmers that were, were getting engaged into, into, into cattle production. We'd developed a specific breed that was a combination of the Mashona and uh, the Brahman and the Cementa, which was fast growing, hardy, disease tolerant. So it was quite a big contribution, in my view, to the community. So what's your next step? Um, well, are you going to challenge it in court? Yes, I will definitely challenge it in court. Uh, if, if, uh, if I'm able to succeed and if the judiciary is going to be fair, uh, I'll still continue to farm. But I think, I have a, I think there's more that, that I can contribute to the farming community, in, uh, in, in not only in Zimbabwe, but in, but in Africa. And I believe that the toxic environment that is there in Zimbabwe is really stopping a lot of people from being able to contribute to, that, to their nation. But then I consider myself as an African, so I'll continue to contribute to Africa. Thank you very much for speaking to us, Patrick Swell, nephew of former Zimbabwe President Robert Mugabe and former cabinet minister. And of course, we will get reaction from the Zimbabwe government as well.